Hi guys, welcome to another budgeting video. As always, we're gonna be chatting about what my August budget is gonna be and then what I spent in July. Okay, so July I did a little bit of spending. <laughs> it was Amazon Prime Day and then I got a few other things. So let's get into that. Now, I mentioned before I budget with two checking accounts. So the variable checking and the fixed checking. I have a video about my bank accounts if you'd like more information on that but let's get started in the variable checking side. So starting balance in this account was $1,325. My salary was actually higher than I anticipated. So it was 2,214. And that is because I got a raise, yay, we love raises. <laughs> like I feel like they're very hard to come by as in like a substantial amount. So I'm happy to get another raise, especially with inflation. And then I had worked some extra hours so I got paid for that. So other things that were coming into this account, I actually did not have any extra income, so that's gonna be blank. So in terms of the available balance, which is a starting balance and my paycheck, I should have for the month $3,539 available. Now in terms of bills, cell phone is $70. In a few, I'm going to move it over to the fixed checking side and I'll talk about that when I get to it. But next up electricity was actually higher it was $73 you know it's hot and the AC has been going more than it was in the previous month internet is the same at $55 groceries eventually I'm going to increase this because I keep on spending more money on groceries than I budget which honestly as I mentioned is like fine with me because um I have been feeling much better and like eating way healthier thanks to my new <laughs> fitness kick. So this month I spent $378. Gas, I actually only went to the gas station one time. So that was $34. I will probably in the next few days get gas again, but that might fall into the next month. But uh, either way, I'm, I'm surprised that that's all I spent. <laughs> I'm not sure what was going on. I definitely have been working the same as I always have been. So I don't know. But wellness, let's see. I spent over for the this category so 152 I ended up getting you know all my usual like wellness supplement stuff so I got some calcium with vitamin D because you know everyone needs a vitamin D because we don't usually get enough and then protein powder I bought a gigantic tub of protein powder <laughs> So that should last a few months. And then because of Amazon Prime Day, I decided to get a few things that I would have gotten anyway, but they were cheaper at that moment. So I got some collagen, so that was one of them. And then I have really bad allergies. <laughs> so I ended up getting some allergy eye drops because my eyes were like itchy and that is like not a vibe. So that's what happened to the wellness category. And then another pricey category, <laughs> which is $18 for home that definitely did not happen. Once again, this was Amazon Prime related, so I spent $541. So I got flowers. I usually get uh, some, pick up some flowers every time I go to Trader Joe because it's just nice. And then I decided to get some caulking supplies so I can caulk my bathtub. I still haven't done it yet, but at least I have what I need. And then the most expensive thing is the cookware set. I finally, after I don't know how many years now, <laughs> since like graduating like undergrad I finally got some new cookware it was much needed and it cost quite a bit it was like at least $500 so that's where the majority of the spending came in but no regrets like since I've been like cooking more it's been so nice to have like non-stick cookware <laughs> it's like definitely worth it now car maintenance I pulled out $10 cash for the car wash and then let's move on to to, well, let's do a quick like a running total, I suppose. So bills were $198 and then living was $1,115. That's like a ton. Uh, so, so far $1,313. Extra, I did a bit of spending here, but not as much as the living category. So new thing, swimming. I know I mentioned in my recent videos that I've been trying to get into a swimming class. Yes, I cannot swim. <laughs> 
but I've been I've taken classes before but I didn't move on to the next level because of like my work schedule etc and then this time I decided like I am committed to learning how to swim so I managed to find a class finally because it's very hard to get in classes because there's not enough lifeguards and of course the demand is there I don't know post COVID people are like I need to learn how to swim now like I'm not sure but yeah so I got into a swimming class and it's been great so far this week is gonna be my second week so I'm excited but I ended up getting a few things so $198 for that category and uh, that involves the swimming lessons that were like 140 something dollars I got some goggles and a swim cap and then a swimsuit because none of my swimsuits well I purged like all but one pair of swimsuits and I wasn't gonna wear that to swimming because it was like a little too revealing so I got like a little bit more modest swimsuit and then parking I went to a restaurant as you've seen a few with my friend it was four dollars to park and the restaurant itself cost 53 dollars which was a little pricey I just got like a salmon burger <laughs> and I guess I got a cocktail as well so that probably pushed up the price moving on to movies I went to see Mission Impossible it was five box there was some promo if you have t-mobile they always have these promos every tuesday but uh yeah like i thought the movie was okay like it wasn't my favorite of the mission impossibles which was a little disappointed but it's also like a two-parter so maybe that like made me feel some kind of way because it was like not finished <laughs> But yes, $5 for that. And then skincare, I spent $16. I got um, my usual rose hip seed oil. These are all facial oils. And then, cause I had a coupon, I needed to spend more, which is how they get you. I decided to get another oil, but I've been wanting this oil for a while. This is the Marula oil, also from The Ordinary. Drink Elephant has Marula oil as well, which I really liked. I've used it before, I've gotten samples, but the full size is like seven times as much as The Ordinary one. So I was definitely not gonna pay for so I was happy when I saw that they had it at Ulta. So 16 bucks there. Hygiene, also from Amazon Prime Day. Like I said, I decided to get a few things that I needed to stock up on and that cost me $56. So I got a new deodorant from uh, Sol de Janeiro. We'll see if it's any good. I've been having a bad time finding deodorants <laughs> because I only use natural deodorants. Anytime I use deodorants with aluminum, they cause my underarms to darken which is not a vibe so I only use like non-aluminum deodorants but like they've been just not good like in terms of the consistency like one didn't dry down completely so like my clothes kept on getting wet and then the other one is not doing a good job at like odor prevention <laughs> so I'm just like we'll see how this one is but so far um they're not doing what they need to do there is one that I usually get it's by Tom's and that one works but um ironically these more expensive ones that I've been trying out have not been working so we'll see about that and then I got uh, my Laneige lip glowy balms I always get those I was like running out I got a couple of those and then I bought the uh, some ingrown hair pads and I usually get those for vacation because I have like an ingrown hair serum but like I don't want to carry liquid so I always get the pads I'm going on vacation in August so that's what I got in the hygiene category and moving on I ended up getting a bag so $21 I was just browsing YouTube and I saw this bag pop up or it wasn't somebody's thumbnail they were talking about like um, there was a review of the bag or whatever so I like mistakenly <laughs> or unfortunately clicked into it. I've been debating what bag I want to carry on my vacation. I usually have a few that I rotate through but I was thinking about getting something else so I ended up getting this bag from Uniqlo. It's called the mini Roan bag I believe. So basically this is it. It's basically just a lightweight bag with some sort of water resistant resistance canvas material and um it's pretty basic but I like it because one is light so the interior is light and most of my bags have like a dark interior so it's like hard to find things which is like no fun when you're like out and about and you don't want to look ridiculous when you're trying to get things in and out just because as a tourist you gotta like act or pretend that you know what you're doing <laughs> to avoid like getting unwanting attention or like getting like pickpocketed so I got this we'll see how it is I have tried it on the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that the strap isn't detachable which would have been nice so that I could wear it to like on my waist or something but it should fit the bill we'll see how I feel about it once I go on my vacation and then apparel I got a few things so from Uniqlo I of course didn't want to pay for shipping because I hate paying for shipping <laughs> so I ended up getting a couple things from there I got a bra and a blouse 
from, um, they had a collab with this designer that I've actually never heard of before. They had some really cute stuff. Um, so I got a couple things. Unfortunately, they didn't have like a lot of the items from that collab anymore. And I ended up returning a lot of it. So only, those are the only two things that I kept. And then I got a pair of suede slides from H&M because I've been wanting some slides for a minute or I've been wanting some comfortable like slippers to wear on my vacation. So I got these. They were like a bit pricey or I, I don't know. I think because they're leather, they're pricey, but they cost like 60 something dollars. But here they are. They're just basic slides. And I did a search because I was not happy with the price. <laughs> I was like, where can I find some similar slides somewhere else for cheaper? But one, I couldn't find anything similar. And two, they were not cheaper. So I ended up getting these and they're actually really cute. I really like them. I think they'll be good for vacation. The sole feels nice and cushy and they're comfy. So yeah, and they should go with like most things because of course they're black. So yeah, I ended up spending. <laughs> Let's see, $80 on apparel. And like I said, most of that was the shoes and then the shirt on the top were on sale actually. So they were pretty cheap. It was like $16 for both of them. And then books, I spent $34 on books because I'm on a reading kick and it's been great. Like reading is my next favorite entertainment pastime to like movies and shows. So definitely worth it. And then I took out $20 in cash just because I had like zero cash. You may already know this, like I'm not a cash girl like I do not do any <laughs> cash envelopes or anything like that but it's nice to have like a few extra dollars around in case you need to pay for something that requires cash so there we have it now in terms of the spending for this side of the budget extra I spent $487 and then in total in the verbal checking I spend $1,800 and the end balance into the account should be around $1,739 moving on to the fixed checking side Starting balance stayed the same, so 1098. And then the salary was also the same, so $548 with an available balance of $16,046. So there was nothing in this account that I had to pay for this month, which is nice. My car loan always comes out, but it doesn't come out of this account, but I just put it there. Just so you guys know that I, I, I do pay a car payment, which hopefully will be paid off very soon. <laughs> but let's go over the summary. So most of my spending was in the living category, of course, because of all that homeware stuff that I bought and then my grocery bill was also high. Second highest category was the extra category. I'm always finding things to buy. <laughs> some of them necessary, some not so much, but not too bad this month. And then bills were only 11%. So in terms of income, $2,762. Then spending, like I said, I only spent on the one account and it was $1,800. The breakdown of that $1,800 and then the difference between my income and my spending is $962. Now we're going to move on to my plans for August. All right, so August, I will be going on my vacation at the end of the month. But as I mentioned before, most of that spending comes out of my travel sinking fund. So it won't be accounted for here. So the spending on this side should be a little bit less unless of course I decide to spend money shopping or doing something else that's not travel related. But we'll see. For this account on the variable checking account side, starting balance balance as of when I'm checking it now is $3,258. And that of course, as I always say, is not the same as the expected ending balance from the last month because this amount does not account for all that spending. So all that spending I have done, I've done on a credit card and that credit card statement has not come out yet and it has not been withdrawn. So this is how much money I have right now. In terms of salary, I do not know what my salary is going to be because of the raise. Because I got a raise and I worked extra, like I do not know like what my base salary is gonna be from now on but uh, we're gonna guesstimate $1,226. And then the available balance should be $4,484. Now my cell phone bill is still on this side, but next month, so September, it'll be coming out of the fixed checking account because T-Mobile no longer gives you a $10 discount. So my bill is actually $80, but I get it for $70 because they have auto pay discount. Normally, use my credit card for but now they want it to come from a bank account 
account. <laughs> so it's going to come from the fixed checking account. The verbal checking account normally just has spending that I do on my credit card. Subscriptions, I don't have any to pay for. They're all paid up. Electricity, I'm just gonna estimate $75. So similar to last month, internet is the same, $55. So $200 for bills and then groceries, $400. It should be less than this because like I said, I'm going on vacation and I'm gonna try to use up the food that I have now so that nothing you know is wasted while I'm away sometimes and I will more than likely buy groceries on vacation but I don't really buy a lot of groceries because I'm usually eating out but I usually buy some because it helps to lower the cost and it also like helps you or me pick up like healthier choices i always have like some snacks water things like that that i buy on vacation gas um i'm gonna keep it at what i expect it to be although it might be much lower than this because i am gonna be gone for the second half of the month then wellness should be zero dollars actually i thought i had to pay for something but i ended up buying it last month so i do not have anything to purchase that i know of yet and moving on to home not anticipating anything i may or may not get flowers i don't know yet because like i said it's gonna be a shorter month that i'm gonna be here and then carmen tenants also shouldn't need anything so in terms of living it should be 470 dollars there are a few things that i need in the hygiene section or that i'm paying for so i'm actually i have some uh toothbrush heads that are on amazon like subscribe and save so that's 25 bucks and then also on my amazon subscribe and save is my eyebrow gel which i need for vacation i usually use more makeup when i'm on vacation than when i'm at home because i'm usually like out and about so I, I was like I need to get this eyebrow gel before I leave for vacation so not much going on as far as I know of course this always changes but in total we should have $700 of spending in this account leaving me with an end balance of $3,784 so I have plenty of money to spend if I so choose if I don't spend the money then I may move it to savings or into investments we'll see moving on to the fixed checking account starting balance is $1,689 salary to account for the T-Mobile bill or my cell phone bill that's going to be coming out in the following month I've increased my direct deposit amount to account for that so it's going to be $618 versus the 500 and whatever it was the previous month so available balance in this account is $2,307 this account I do have a bill due so in the home taxes and fees I have a bill for $1,240 so that's a good amount and uh, that is going to leave me with an end balance of $1,067. Now in terms of the breakdown the majority of that opposite of last month is bills because I have that high bill in the fixed checking side and then living the second highest category and then so far as far as we know extra is the lowest category. So income is $1,844. Spending is actually more than my income because one my income may be higher and two because the fixed checking account and actually my verbal checking account I always have extra money in there how much I can spend is not dependent on what I make because I have extra money in there so sometimes my income is less than what I'm spending so spending $1,940 leaving me with a negative $96 but like I mentioned all these accounts still have positive balances in them at the end of the month so and that's going to be it for my budget for last month and what I'm planning to spend in the future months. Of course, I'm always interested to know what you guys are up to in terms of budgeting and whatnot. And of course, if you have any questions for me, then I'll leave them in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.